Hey guys, Chichi here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because I will be doing live swatches and a tutorial using the brand new palette from Raw Beauty Christie. Intra, 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 intra. For some of you who may not know who Christy is, she is a phenomenal YouTuber here and basically she's having the best year ever right now. She just hit a million subscribers on her YouTube channel and after years of infertility she announced that she is pregnant with her first child and then on top of that we get this. We have a collaboration with Pure Cosmetics off the rip congratulations Christy like you deserve all of this that is coming to you she is super humble she's super dope she's just good peoples and then on top of everything she was just super active when it came to black lives matter shelling out information and I could not be more happy <laughs> to support her palette because honey trying to get this oh child it felt like i was trying to get yeezys or jordans pure cosmetics just they wasn't ready i'm not gonna sit here and bash them that's not what i'm gonna do we all know the site crash if you're like me i only know pure cosmetics from their foundations while having a hundred shades is great not being able to swatch it the whole purpose i feel like they had a missed opportunity had their site had some sort of sample pack with maybe 20 shades that i could have purchased i would have bought it with this palette tried out the foundation and if i liked it i would have repurchased it so pure take this note okay y'all need to get some samples okay with that being said they did send a 25 percent off of my next purchase as well as a free eyeliner however see if they would have had some sort of samples i could have used this coupon to possibly go back to the site and purchase foundation see like you see where i'm trying to get at now what's really special about this palette is that christy drew every image that is on this palette and not only did she do that <laughs> no no she actually designed the packaging this package design genius she also took it a step further with the actual label one side is this rose gold to indicate the neutral side and this label is holographic to indicate the colorful side she truly thought this palette out and it's like the perfect size starting off with the neutral side this is camelot and it is a lovely mustardy kind of yellow hold on that brush isn't really doing me justice now we're back on track <laughs> okay it's getting a little nervous i forgot to tell you guys these are pressed pigments they need a little bit more tender love and care with these I love a good mustardy shade. Lightly blend that out. That's a really fun mustard. I can't go wrong with a mustard. I'm gonna link Christie's video so you can get a better understanding of why she named the things that she did the way that she did. But I will tell you, this one is after her mom. This is her favorite movie. This is, it just does. And wow, that's beautiful. It's more of a corally shade, like a coral pink. I didn't think I would like it, but it's very, very pretty. Getting some fallout, but fallout is cool. You know, I don't mind it, but it does, does it. My whole heart is a very, very pale pink. I'm not expecting much from this shade. Good for someone who is a little bit lighter, probably for a brow bone highlight i mean i could probably use this with a cut crease copper boxes i know it's for her dad it's more of a muted brown milk chocolatey mm, now i want chocolate if you don't want a super smoky eye i would use that shade gotta look for that line blend this out real quick because these are pressed pigments i feel as though these work better on top of a eyeshadow base and not necessarily concealer in my opinion i feel like i need something that just a little bit more tacky 
because the shade will fall off when it's blended because I just knocked off a bunch in the center. But other than that, I think it's a beautiful shade. Golden Ticket is the only shimmery shade in here and it's gold and it's cute. It's cute. Oh, 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 oh. Adding a little bit of moisture to my brush. It smooths it out. No huge impact with it though. Moo Point is a really pretty lavender shade. That's going on really nice. Oh, that's cute. That's a little sweet, sweet, you know. Feels like Easter. Mm, makes me feel like all warm and fuzzy. Want to eat, you know, a bunch of, uh, what are those chicks? I don't know. Makes me want to eat jelly beans or stuff. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> B is kind of on the dingier side of the fence. Dingy isn't bad and blends out though because that's going to be the true tale. She packs on really nicely and as far as that blendentation, does she do she have that dark line? No whammies. Cool, 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 cool. We good. We Gucci up in here. You dead good girl. Told you is number one something her and her husband say to each other. But as far as the shadow goes, this is the warmest brown. It's got that transition look to it. Digging it, digging it. I don't think I set this eye. Oh no. I like browns like this. They just look good in the crease. So you can't go wrong with that. Final shade in this side of the palette is, you're not my real dad. <laughs> I've been dying dying to say that it's hilarious it is just a sweet shade for people who follow her like if you know you know definitely with the pressed pigments have a lighter hand but it does pack on really nicely you just gotta you know be gentle when it blends out it's one of those moody browns those moody murky 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 brown boom got your number buddy so let's Flip it on over to the other side. No tea, no shade. But when I first saw the colorful side of the palette, I gotta be honest, it reminded me so much of the Juvia's Place Festival palette. So if this was just a regular company's launch, I would not have purchased this. But because I fucks with Christy Heavy, I was gonna buy it no matter what and plus a lot of these panels just look all the same at this point anyway so i really don't care i'm more concerned about performance at this point first stop is flavor town Ooh, this is super fiery i watch a lot of the food network so as soon as i saw the uh, title of uh, flavor town i was like christy you know me you know me so well i don't I think I've ever used a red eyeshadow before. Damn, that's cute. I know it's a big thing to do red eyeshadow. So to see it in this palette, I'm just like. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so this is Garden State Jersey in the house. I know it's not for Jersey, but <laughs> it's for the movie Garden State. But this, wow. This is one of those teal greens. Oh, that is lovely. I love this shade. This is my favorite shade so far. Ooh, was it expecting that to show up to the party? Did you? No, ma'am. Number one stunner right there. Garden State. Boom, boom. Tribute is a very, very vibrant purple. It doesn't have any sort of blueness to it this is super purple oh that's pretty and just keep in mind with working with the pigments that some of these shades will stain your lids so don't be alarmed okay like some of these brighter shades they're bound to, to just stain your lid but look at that love it Probably the most relatable phrase for me. Am I orange? Yo, making YouTube videos, 
<laughs> this is a constant question. I have to ask, am I yellow? Cause trying to white balance, so annoying. This is a really close cousin to Flavor Town, but this would look amazing if you had started off with Am I Orange and then faded into a Flavor Town. Girl, that shit would be dope. Cafe Disco looks like a pale pink with a silver shimmer in it. It's one of those icy looking shades. This is the only shimmer on this side of the palette. Mm, wouldn't wet this one particularly. Nah, it was good before I started messing with it. This would be a good inner corner highlight. I feel like uh, on both sides, the shimmery shades are perfect for your inner corners. So that's probably what I'll use it for. The side effect of a pink this bright is going to be staining. I wanted to go slow with this one because <laughs> this is super, super hot, 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 hot pink. On my brown skin, it's not going to come up as pink and vibrant. However, if you get yourself a white base, you already know it's going to be popping like popcorn. With a quick tiny blend, the flick of wrist. No dark line. We're killing it right now. We're killing it. Dandy Line is a brighter version of Camelot. So it's not as mustard. I know this one is for her niece. Now, would I say that is the same as Camelot? No, definitely isn't. This would be a lot more vibrant. There we go. Got to pack it on a little bit more. A lot more vibrant, as you can see, once I started to really pack it on. I probably didn't put enough powder down and that's why it's not showing up as bright because I don't want you guys to get the impression like oh girl that's the same shade on both sides it definitely isn't probably the most excited about this shade it's hurtful you guys know how I feel about a blue this leans more towards a dark turquoise borderline sapphire Oh, these are so pretty together. I want to use both of these shades, but I can't because I know it's going to turn green. How can I do that? I got to think about this. I really want to use this shade. I really, really like this one. Aw, hurtful. Aw, like it's such a sad, sad, like name, <laughs> like hurtful, but it's such a pretty color pause for the cause I gotta make sure this line doesn't show up can't get committed okay can't lose focus <laughs> okay we good we good Loomis is a pure white I'm trying to pack this on and not get my brush dirty this is something I would probably set a white base with I might just let that do what it do <laughs> but it is it's white it is coming up patchy because i'm not messing up my white shade okay sure y'all just gonna have to live with this particular swatch so i'm gonna take everything off and get into the tutorial i think i'm just gonna do one eye each since we're all about duality so starting off with the neutral side i'm gonna take it just does <laughs> we're just gonna pat that into the crease kind of just want to use the light shades that are in this side i know that kind of defeats the whole purpose but guess what i'm gonna do it anyway let's try camelot let's see how this works right on the edge it might turn a little more orange I'm trying to go slowly i probably should have put the white base under here now that i think about it but Listen guys, it is what it is. I'm going to take, told you so, pick up a little bit of that and deepen up the side. I don't know if I like this right now. 
think I might have to call an audible. Let's see where this river flows. I got real dark real quick, didn't it? Oh. Gonna go back in with Camelot on the edge. Bring some of that exuberant back. You know it's supposed to be a neutral situation. We're gonna make it colorful. I don't care. <laughs> I just used some of the white base from NYX Cosmetics. And I'm going to go in with Moo Point <laughs> and pat that on. We're going to do a nice little purple situation. Oh, that came out really good. Okay. 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 See, girl, sometimes you just got to trust your instincts. Now I feel better. Okay. Now I can work. <laughs> okay. Now that I know what I'm doing, <laughs> I kind of still don't know what I'm doing. Told you show, and it just does. Going back in with those two, now that I've kind of figured out my rhythm here, and I just want to press that along, deepen up the crease right there on the side. I know somebody's gonna be like, girl, like, why, why are you making a colorful look? Like, you're supposed to use a neutral thing. I feel like everybody was going to do some sort of neutral look on this side. And I didn't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I want to do something a little bit fun using the colors that probably the people wouldn't use. So we're here. I'm actually really digging <laughs> what just happened here. Like I could really go super deep and put like, you're not my real dad and just like go ham, but I'm not going to do it. Maybe I'll do it on the bottom lash. No. We're gonna keep it light. We're gonna keep it very PG. Fine. Sure. Disney princess realness right there. Uh, but sometimes I wanna be Ursula. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take Told You So and it just does on my lash line. If you guys have this palette, mix it up because they look damn good together. Golden Ticket and place that right in the tear duct. Brighten it up real quick, real nice. Actually, I might take it a little down right here. Why not? That's how we're looking thus far. I'ma pause and I flip this bad boy over to the colorful side. I think I'm gonna keep with this purple theme. Let's shoot for the stars. Again, we're just gonna pack it on. I don't think I'm going to do a purple look on here, but I just need to use this shade. Let's do a halo. Let's just pack this in. Christy is just such an amazing person. I will say that I've never met her. She just seems so humble, so down to earth. Someone you could talk to and laugh with. And I'm just beyond happy for her. I think I'm going to dip into side effect. Tap that on the edges. These are kind of looking the same, but trust me, it's not going to be the same. I'm not going for the same look. I promise. I was just really happy to hear that she was pregnant. I know she was in shock. I think everyone was in total shock, but so happy at the same time. Like I haven't been that happy for someone I've never met before that much. Like I watched her video and it was just super emotional. All right, that's looking a whole lot like this eye. Hold on, I'm gonna blend this out. I'm gonna pick up hurtful. I don't want y'all yelling at me. <laughs> Back it on the inner and outer. These are like really pigmented. Jeez, like I already know my brush is way too big and I am not that skilled in this department. But damn, that's that's some pigment for your A S S S S. I need smaller brushes. Where are my smaller brushes? I choose you! Here we go. Nice little pencil brush action. Let's do that. And we're gonna connect it. Sure, why not? Let's connect it right there. Instead of that pink, I'm gonna go back with Flavor Town right over it to blend it out. I'm gonna pick up some more white and put that right in the center. Garden State has my heart, bro. <laughs> Why is it so pretty? Oh, Garden State is my favorite shade. I'm sorry. It just is. Going back in with 
hurtful. Oh, these are magical together. That's super, super fun. Oh, now I kind of feel like I should have made this a little bit more neutral. <laughs> but who cares? Should I put Cafe Disco like right on the center though? Let's try it. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> really lightly. Did I just do something amazing? Possibly. See what happens when I don't get nails? <laughs> oh man, I wish I would've used the white base on the whole freaking thing. This is just a clean blending brush. Just wanna make sure everything is pretty decent. I love what that eye looks like. Oh, Garden State is right under here. That's a whole galaxy on my eye. Are we good? Are we good? Should I use more goldenness on the side? You know what? I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna put on my liner and lashes. Wow, they make the biggest difference. So these are the completed looks. This is my neutral, natural side. And this is, you know, my colorful, playful side. Even though my neutral side is debatable, I think it's still very light and airy and cute. Like, come on, like, doesn't that look really, really nice and natural? Even though I use all of the colors in the palette, I like it. I'm sorry. This is my neutral. And then this one, I really did that. Cafe Disco on top of Garden State. What a moment. Christy, congratulations with everything from the palette to the baby. This palette is a true reflection of you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Stay comfy guys. Bye.